Hello friends, we are here with our Sunday weekly haul. Um, my husband went to Costco and he picked up these two huge tumblers. They're 40 ounce tumblers. And what's cool is they'll actually fit in the car. And this one's mine. His is going to be the gray. They're 34 hours cold, cup holder friendly, dishwasher safe, and they come with a straw as well. So anyways, yeah, I mean... I'm always trying to drink as much water as I can. So let me see. Versatile three in one lid and large capacity for less refills. So, yeah, we'll see how we like them. But yeah, they're pretty cute. Um, definitely can't wait to use it. And the best part is it fits in the cup holder. So that's pretty cool, too. And then we just got Bounty, um, which we'll call it paper towels and then we needed some Kirkland scented kitchen bags 200 and then um, two pounds of cherries and a, a big thing of peanuts which I'm not gonna you guys don't need to see all that but uh, anyways that's was a really quick Costco run that my husband did all right I am gonna get in to Dollar Tree because why not right all right I bought this little red felt leaf. I always get one because I put um, my red truck wax warmer on top of um, seasonal, like their little cheap felt seasonal leaves and stuff like that. And like for Christmas, they'll come out like with other little characters that are made out of felt. Anyways, this will do for October and fall. And then when it's Christmas, I'll swipe it out with a Christmas one. So these are basically just like a one-time use type of deal. And love the color that like rust red. So, so pretty. And also from their um, fall 2022 collection, I also picked up this home sign. I thought this would be a good background space filler. So I'll use it somewhere, somewhere, somehow. It'll do something. And I really reined myself in because, like I said, I just I don't want I don't want to be spending like you know a hundred dollars at Dollar Tree just on stuff that I'm just not going to use a and b I don't have room to be like storing stuff from Dollar Tree you know especially like just nonsense really but I looked at these and I was like you know what I could see using these somehow somewhere so I like this it looks high end. And yeah, so I even, I mean, I even like the frame. So that says a lot too. Welcome home with the O in the, it's a pumpkin. Totally like it. Then I thought this was really going back like kind of old school. It gives me the Brady Bunch type of feel. I think it's that kind of, I think it's black, but it, to me it comes out, it comes across as dark brown, the dark brown and white in the back. Thankful, grateful, blessed. And you have... The pumpkins and then you have like the sunflowers and then you have like the light autumn foliage so I just thought that was nice I picked up that one these are the three styles by the way and then grateful hearts gathered here um, I mean nothing really says you know this totally screams Thanksgiving and so forth so just liked it yeah so these were new so definitely definitely like them for a dollar 25 a piece not bad at all all right um, then I had to get these. When I saw their fall stuff, I was like, all right, I want one of each. I know that I can use them to take up, like, space. Again, space fillers. Leaves are falling. Autumn is calling. Totally, totally like it. It's just, you know, they're faux books. Thought, they, thought that was really nice. I think I got them in all the styles. I'm pretty sure. Um, then Welcome Autumn, look at that, with the orange and white, um, buffalo check ribbon. And this is what I'm always talking about, that ribbon that can just really throw something into fall, autumn, that whole look. I mean, all it takes is a ribbon, especially with those orange glass canisters I keep showing you that look like pumpkins. That would transform the clear one. That would, I mean, I would use like probably the black and white one on the orange one. That would look cute. All right. Then another set of books. Look at this. Pumpkin Spice and Everything Nice. That would look adorable at the um, coffee bar. I don't have room for that. 
I don't think I do. Maybe I can make room. I don't know. I'm going to have so much stuff for Halloween for the coffee bar that I don't think I'll have room for it. But it is super cute. And that can be used, you know, we can be used anywhere, honestly. But I fell in love with that one and love the aesthetic. And then, of course, you have a thankful, grateful, and blessed. So, yeah, those are the four different styles. Really, really cute, right? Like, I'm liking it a lot. All right. Then, these are like very, very Hobby Lobby-esque. Um, happy pumpkin season. Of course, it's coming up. The Mod Podge part is coming apart right there, but it's okay. I have like brown marker I can fix it with. All right, again, this is great for your hot chocolate bar. Happy pumpkin season. Love it. Then I thought that was too cute. I couldn't decide which one I wanted, so why not get both? Spice it up. Now, see, these look high end, and I think these make for really cute gifts as well. You could put that in a really cool printed um, fall treat bag and put like candy and stuff and give that as a present. And you have, you know, your present's $1.25 and then whatever it costs you for the candy or baked good. And then, I mean, I think you can buy like a dozen treat bags at the dollar stores for $1.25 or a dollar. So that would be such a cute gift for, you know, your children's teacher, for your sister's at Bible, Bible study, you know, whoever, whoever you want to give a gift to. That, this would be adorable to put in there. All right. And then this is a little, um, I feel like it's a little bit going into Christmas, but it says I love fall and that's okay. Again, not really sure where these are going to be going for me. I don't know. Maybe I'll put them in the bottom of my foyer table. I'm not sure where these are going to go. I don't know, but um, I'm going to try and incorporate at least one of these into my, um, pumpkin spice bar. We'll try and see what I can do because fall is different than Halloween. So yeah, I cannot wait till they bring out their Halloween stuff. All right. And then I had to get this. I don't even know what I'm going to do with all these, but that is too cute. And I love this welcome autumn. I just find it to be really high end looking and yeah, I mean, I don't think, I mean, it's a pretty original, cool piece. Um, to me, I guess it's supposed to be like hot chocolate, or I kind of get like maybe it's hot cider with a cinnamon stick. Either way, I really, really like it. Um, I do like it a lot more than the I Love Fall right here, because I guess because the Mod Podge, I don't know, it was really hot this week in Orange County, so I don't know if that helped melt the Mod Podge off. I don't know. All right, then necessities, but not very interesting at all are toothpaste um yeah so that's all I got at Dollar Tree believe it or not I really just went for stuff that I really really wanted and I thought about getting like the cute pumpkin pie and pecan pie and cherry pie um pictures but I was like you know what they're crooked I mean you know I mean, I mean, just, I'm being honest with you. They're crooked. Like, none of them align right. And I was like, no, I don't want to use that. I don't, I don't want that because I won't be able to hang it. And it'll bug me. So I just left it alone. But they are good to repurpose, most definitely. Most definitely to repurpose. Such super cute prints. All right, you guys. We're going to get into the next part of our haul. All right, Target had some really great deals, and I'm about to show them to you right now. I got these Threshold um, hand towels and washcloths, two hand towels and four washcloths on clearance for $4.80, and they're a dark, kind of like a Dodger blue, I want to say. And then I also was able to purchase Threshold two-pack towels. Um, these are just bath towels. They're 30 by 54 inches, and I think trying to see how much they were originally I don't know if they covered it up yeah I okay these are navy and let's see and now I think they covered it up with the um 
Okay, these were $16, so I got them 75% off. And these are nice, and they would make for a cute gift, too. So these don't match. Yeah, these were, oh my gosh, these were $16, too. The two hand towels and the four washcloths. So for 30 what I would have spent $32 on, I spent um, 10 So that's a good deal. All right. Found that on clearance, and then um, I also was able to score the foam bath rug set. Yeah, one 17 by 24, one 20 by 30, and these were regularly 20, regularly 20, and I got them for six dollars. So I picked up the black for Halloween for when I do um, the bathroom, like in Halloween and stuff. So grabbed that. And then I also, since they were on sale, I picked up two sets. So one will be, this one will, one will be for like November for harvest and so forth. Yeah, so they were having a pretty good deal. Um, all of this cost, oh, and I also picked up these. I was lucky to find them again. I wasn't going to let them go. And I, so I walked out. Paying $34 for all of this, which is a really good deal. I rarely score, like, good clearance at um, Target. All right, I decided to get the Halloween trees because the first time I found them, I left them, and I was kicking myself in the butt, saying, why did you leave them? Why did you leave them? So when I found them again, I said, nope, I am not leaving these behind. They are coming home with me. So I grabbed two, and I was thinking... Again, these are good space taker uppers, like background and so forth. And I was like, all right, these are definitely coming home with me. So I picked up those. Those were $5 each. So honestly, the most expensive item I paid for were the two rugs. And these are memory foam, $6. And this is all threshold. I mean, everything except for the Halloween trees. So that's what I ended up getting at Target. Not bad. And from Aldi, I forgot to show this to you guys last um, week, but anyways, this is the fragrance warmer, and I did get it for $2 and like, I don't know, $2.38, so it was on sale, and these make for really cute gifts. So I picked out the pale yellow one. I thought that would be nice to switch over to like in the springtime. Um, if they have any more, I'll probably get a couple of more as well. So I wanted to sh remember to show you guys those, let you know that, yeah, they are on sale. All right, so I bought myself a fun gift, and I'll show it to you right now. Here she is. She arrived, and I think she's going to look so cute. I love her outfit. It's original Cabbage Patch, and so are the shoes. And the only thing that's not original Cabbage Patch on her is um, her little diaper. But I named her Annalise. Yeah. She's in pretty good condition. And I'm going to, I think I'm going to go on Amazon. I'm going to order like a, a case for her to be in, but I'm definitely going to be bringing her out for Christmas because her whole red, white, her whole red and white outfit is just too stinking cute. And she looks like she belongs out for Christmas. I totally, I, I'm going to buy her a friend. I've been looking online and she's in pretty decent condition. Like I said, um, she's cute. It's hard to find well, I mean, number one, these are really expensive, depending on if they're um, in the box or not. I mean, some people want like twelve hundred. They're three hundred. I mean, they're the price is all over. But I ended up buying her off of Poshmark. I mean, she didn't come like with her adoption papers or anything. But the lady wanted thirty, so I offered her twenty five. She accepted my offer, and I figured I got a good deal because, like I said, this is all this is all Cabbage Patch Kid clothing. And her shoes are all nice and spick and span. And the outfit doesn't have, like, any yellowing. And her face is all pretty much scuff-free, clean. Her body, for the most part, is really, really... I mean, there's no, like, markings. Mm -hmm. So I think I got a good deal. It was 36 with, like, shipping and all that stuff. But I'm looking for a little friend for her. I would like one with a pacifier. But I don't know. Those are super expensive. And I want one that definitely has shoes and also has a cute outfit. Because even, like, um, buying the Cabbage Patch Kid outfits, 
those sell for almost what I bought her for. So, I mean, it's, it's ridiculous. But I do want to get her a little friend. So, anyways, I think she's an absolute cutie patootie. And I called her Annalise. This is her name. All right, then yesterday we went shopping to at home and I bought these for $6.99. Look at, they are cute, cute. Um, what am I trying to say? Ghosts. They're ghost ornaments. But the only thing I don't like is somehow there's, it looks like black glitter. So I'm going to have to wipe them clean. I don't know, I even know how black glitter got in there. Oh, their faces and mouths. Okay. Anyways, so I think I thought these would look cute on the pink tree and my foyer. That will look nice. And then when it's all lit up, it'll it'll look super cute. So I think a dozen is enough. I don't think I, I should, I'll need more than a dozen. I mean, the pink tree is not big at all. So I thought that was really cute. And then, and then, OMG. Hold on. And I got this cute ghost. I just couldn't. Like, the more I looked at it, the more I was like, oh my gosh, I am not leaving without you. You are too cute. Could you imagine if I had a bow? <gasps> that would be adorable. All right. Um, this was only $7.99. So I only bought two pieces from um, at home because they seriously don't even have a quarter of their Halloween stuff up. I mean, what I showed you was like just a little palette taster. So I can't wait to see the rest of what they're going to be bringing out. And then, of course, I'm going to be shooting fall as well. Now, this is not a huge haul, but as you guys know, I was down and I was out for like, what? I took a day off during the week and then all last weekend I was out. So, no, actually, uh, Monday I shot my haul. I didn't leave my house. So I didn't really have a lot of time to shop this week and... um like today, I'm just going to rest. I mean, I had planned to take down, start taking down my house and stuff, but yeah, I need to get, I mean, I need to just get rest. So that's what I'm going to do today. After I shoot this haul, I'm going to get in the shower and then I'm going to rest and get ready for the week. But, um, all right, I did get another piece, um, and I'm going to slow down on the Halloween. I have to. I, I cannot be just buying ha more Halloween. The only thing I need for Halloween is I need a core mat for outside. And I need um, a couple of pot holders and oven mitts. And I need drying mats. And then I don't need any more Halloween. Maybe some more towels. Because you all know how much I love towels. All right, let me show you this next piece, which I bought at Home Goods, and oh my gosh, I can't even believe I was able to get it. All right, I bought the Hocus Pocus, and this was twenty nine ninety nine. It is a um, this. It opens up. Hold on, I'll show you. Cause you know, I didn't even look inside of it. Hold on. All right, there it is. So you can put stuff in it, treats. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it, but seeing as I have that cauldron back there, which is brew, I thought this would be too cute. It's going to look so good. So I'm not, I don't know. I don't know which, I'm going to make the centerpiece, either the Hocus Pocus or the cauldron. I don't know, but I am really happy with these pieces. I mean, this is stuff like I've always wanted to find and I just haven't. So this is this was fun. I mean, look how cute that. Oh, it's gonna look so good. And I mean, if you guys were with me last year, you guys know how much Halloween stuff I have. So yeah, I mean, I think the these year. Why do I say? Why do I speak like Elmer Fudd's wife? I don't know. This year, I'm more about getting Ray Dunn pieces that like I couldn't even touch last year, and I've been having good luck. Um, just walking in and not going to openings, just walking in at random times and there it is. And it's like, it's been like one of each, like there was one cauldron, there was one witch's hat. Um, I also found an iridescent pumpkin, which I just left because I think I have like three Ray Dunn pumpkins, two Halloween ones and one harvest. Like I don't need, it. well, maybe I'll get another, I don't know. I don't know. I don't, you know, what? I don't even want to talk about it. I never know what I'm going to do. If something's super cute and it strikes my fancy, you all know, like, it goes in the cart. 
All right, you guys, that is a haul. Like I said, you all, you know, you know, you all, <laughs> you all know I've been kind of out of commission, not exactly on my A game, although our first day back, I did run right smack into all of that fall stuff, so that was a nice surprise. Um, anyways, there is still a lot of content on the channel, and, um, I loaded up Dollar Tree yesterday as well, and also, um, Code Orange at home, and then I'm going to be loading up our weekly, um, haul, so I hope you all enjoyed it, and I will see you all later, my friends. Thank you so very much for all of your support. I truly, truly appreciate it, and Let's give this video a big thumbs up so we can circulate our videos for free on YouTube. Alrighty, bye bye. I'll see you tomorrow.